What's up, gang? Welcome back for part two of Mac and Charlie Die. Super excited to get into this one since this is only the second two-parter we've got in the show. So just like the first two-parter we got, I'm assuming that the second half gets absolutely wild. And obviously, Mac and Charlie aren't going to end up dying in the end, but that doesn't mean whatever's going to happen isn't still going to shock me because this show always throws twists and turns and surprises at me. And so looking forward to seeing what characters are involved as well. I don't know if Mac's dad is going to employ the help of anybody else. And the same goes for Mac and Charlie as well. Maybe they'll get some more muscle on their side, but I guess we will see. It'll also be funny to see D, Dennis, and Frank either carrying out their dying wishes or trying to find out more information about where they are if they're really dead. And so there's definitely a lot of hilarious variables at play. Hopefully you guys are excited to watch watch along with me for this one. If by the end of the video you enjoyed it, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Always helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel out. And you can check out my full length reaction to this and all the other It's Always Sunny episodes I've done on my Patreon, the link for that being in the description below. Of course, you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me, but those are always uploaded before the YouTube edits, so you can see them there ahead of time as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into part two. The only way that my dad is not going to kill us is if he thinks- oh, Nice, we're getting a little bit of a recap. Haven't done this before. Luckily, I'm watching this one right after the last one, but I still appreciate the refresher. Any plans for the outside? I got some big plans. <laughs> and then we're just heading straight into the intro. I also wonder how many more teeth Charlie's going to lose in this episode because he lost quite a few last time. But I could also see them just getting to the end of this episode without like mentioning anything serious about it because obviously they have bigger problems at hand right now. Um, okay. Well, I guess <laughs> yes, this is probably... Yes, dude. They're doing a funeral service for him. Why is Dennis always stuck giving these eulogies? At least he knows the people this time. Angry. Burn the uh, duster! Hey, I'm not burning the duster! Okay, I'm not... <laughs> Frank, simmer down, my guy. This is right. not the time That's or place. Crazy. I will continue to wear it in his honor. So stop asking me to burn the duster. I'm not gonna burn it! <laughs> Oh man is passionate about that thing. Can't blame him though. It looked like an absolute boss when he wore it the last time and everyone who wore it. Before uh, Mac and Charlie died, they made a slideshow. We're gonna play a song that was a favorite of theirs. It's all the same. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> He's mom. My gosh, this is amazing. They really went all out, even though they're not even dead. They really prepared a whole event. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. I want that freaking picture as my wallpaper. I miss you, Charlie. <laughs> Good micro world. You're telling me that they took all those pictures before they did this? And now, I'm gonna give them the one gun salute. No, 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 you're not. Okay, all right, you got it. Oh my god, let go. <laughs> Dude, Frank's still whipping that thing out at the worst times. Also, a little bit sad that nobody else came besides their moms. Tell you what, why don't you go into the bathroom, go into the center stall. I got a little surprise for you. It's gonna cheer you up. Oh, this absolute menace. Trying to take advantage of that poor woman. I need a ride home. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, no. Can't do that, sis. Gotta get back home ASAP and meet a couple potential new roommates. Hot ones, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he moved on so fast. What? Shouldn't even be surprised. That's right in line with his freaking personality. Do you mind not breathing directly into my mouth? You're not gonna say anything. You're just gonna stare at me. That's what you're bringing to the table. <laughs> I love seeing D interact with other people in public. <laughs> Damn. This public transport looks like a nightmare too. Is this how Philadelphia transport really is? Freak show back there. Either you get behind the line or you're right in here. I'm behind the line. You're on the line. On the line, behind the line, who cares? That's it, I'm pulling the bus over. <laughs> Oh, her very first bus ride, she's kicked out. So incapable of interacting normally. I am not happy about it, lady. Excuse me! <laughs> she's doing such a great job with this. Caitlin Olsen's really good at physical comedy. I need a popper, all right? I gotta get my I, head I straight. I got a little bad news in the popper front. This is the last one, dude. I think I should get it. Will you let me? I just need, need it, dude. The popper person. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Have the bumper! Oh no, D's gonna see him. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> oh, their cover is blown, dude. Hey, you stop the bus! Shut the bus! Oh, jeez, man. I don't know if Dennis and Frank are gonna believe her, though. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, nasty, dude. I hate the bus. That man didn't even, like, react to that. She's always in the grossest situations. That was an excellently done scene, too, with that connection. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, can I help you? You're looking for the roommate, right? Oh no, he was hoping for women, wasn't he? <laughs> what is gonna happen now? I did the Shreese Company thing once. Oh yeah? It was pretty cool for like a week. And then I banged one of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> Dennis is into it. You're much smarter than my old roommate. Sure. I'm gonna be upfront with you. I run with a pretty wild crew. It's probably gonna be chicks over here like all the time. <laughs> I like this guy, man. Dennis should hear him out. Seems like the perfect madman to play off him. I could probably consider like a uh, perfect strangers type of deal. I like this, by the way. This is a sweet duster. Oh, that man has got the position right there. Compliment Dennis's clothes, especially that duster. You'll get whatever you want from him. Hello. Whoa! Scared the out of me. I almost dropped all my beer. I knew you two weren't dead. What are you doing, popping out of our tent? Not cool, D. <laughs> I like how they don't have anything else to say to her. Oh, I'll tell you what's not cool. Crashing my car into a building, exploding a grenade inside of it, and then convincing your friends and your family that you're dead. That's one of the cooler things you can really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm with him on this one, man. It's pretty epic. What's she gonna do right here? She gonna blackmail him? My dad just got out of jail. He's coming to kill you. Me? Are you, are you sure? Yeah, kill you, kill us, kill, kill everybody, He's really. Kill everyone. Yeah. Oh no, dude. They've completely changed the script. And now Dee's gonna be with them and fake her own death, I bet. Why don't you fake your own death yes. like us? It really is the only thing you can do now because you're in this too deep. Look, you wanna die? Now, what's your bean situation? Oh. You got some beans on yeah. you? Charlie is freaking obsessed with beans, man. They're delicious, but gotta know when to call it quits. I don't know how Dee's gonna want to kill herself, though. Oh, shoot, man. The game has started. What the heck is in that note? Hey, Dennis. Really? What do you want? Hey, I just wanted to let you know I was gonna go for a quick jog in Fairmont Park. What does it have to do with me? Just me out there just in the middle of the job. night in the dark by myself. Damn it. <laughs> He doesn't even freaking care about her. I feel like he's gonna be even less broken up about her fake dying. I was really hoping for more of like a anything goes, crazy, European, sex party kind of a thing. Let me make some calls. Think you can put something like that together? I'm European. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Just fulfilling all of Dennis's European fantasies right now. Looks like he's got a lot of new friends. Yes, I can see that, Charlie. Some of them are really pretty girls. Yes, they are very pretty. Wow, that's tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they're so obsessed with seeing how everyone else is moving on. It's your turn to take the bedpan out tonight. I did it last time! Charlie, I got up in the middle of the night and I walked down the hallway. <laughs> Dude is freaking role playing with the mannequin, quite the opposite scenario. I like you too, Charlie. I like you too, new Charlie. New Charlie. <laughs> My guy has lost it, man. They need to let Frank know they're still alive. Dude clearly cannot handle it. As soon as I left Dennis's place, I realized I don't have a car. So I actually do have to run home by myself. This big car full of gangbangers. Okay, gangbangers. That is an awesome story, D. That's the end of it, right? That could be the end of the story. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Her life was actually threatened, and they just tuned her out. The only rule is, don't tell me your names. I don't want to know your name. <laughs> Frank rolls in with new Charlie. He's gonna screw everything up for him. Dennis's new roommate, though, has the hookups, dude. Let me take that stupid little mannequin everywhere, man. That is freaking me out. Who cares about the mannequin? Oh, I care about the mannequin. I look like a jerk in front of those girls with that I'm thing. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks his image is ruined because he's a fake mannequin. I've arranged for you to use the glory hall. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming back into play somehow. I don't think this is gonna go the way he's wanting. There are no words, man. That's right. I'm the boss. 
but I'm a good boss. No, don't tell me it's going to be Mannequin Charlie. This is about to get real weird, man, I feel like. German broad is going to knock on that wall, which is my signal to go in my pants. <laughs> oh, no, dude, the shadow. <laughs> oh, this is wild, man. Hey, honey, you want to take care of this monster for me or what? There is no way I can picture that as a girl. Frank? <laughs> oh my gosh, the way they did that moment was perfect. My guy Dennis be packing, though. Beat it. What did I do? What did you do? You were going to have him glory hole me. Oh. Americans are so uptight. You ruined our glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. Dude, Dennis had the perfect setup and immediately kicks him out. Kaboom! Surprise! We're alive and it's blowing your minds right now! <laughs> no, it is not blowing our minds at all. I knew you guys were alive. What the heck? I did not realize Dennis knew. I wanted to piss you off. Well, what about me? Did you want to piss me off? You, I thought, might have actually been murdered. That's what I thought. Jeez, <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I know. Frank did not and know. some of the stuff you've been doing th with this mannequin here, that's like, uh, to teach me a lesson, or...? Yeah. <laughs> this got real awkward real quick. Frank's got an unhealthy obsession with Charlie. You got a letter. Dear son, I'm heading to Tijuana. I wanted to get as far away from you as I could so that I could learn how to forgive you. P.S. I still love you. <laughs> Oh, again, man, his dad ends up doing the good thing. All that effort for absolutely nothing. Sorry about your car, D. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I had a feeling they were going to subvert my expectations again, man. <laughs> oh man, great finish to that. Now what the heck is D gonna do? Is she just gonna keep having to ride public transport? Because that seems like the worst situation ever. I wonder if Dennis's roommate is going to pop back up again at some point or if he's just in this episode. I also hope Mannequin Charlie makes a return because that whole scenario was hilarious with Frank. I love how when anybody in the gang tries to do something super elaborate, it always just comes crashing down and they either end up where they were at the start or even worse off than before in this case it's definitely the latter especially for D but I love the lengths that Charlie and Mac went to in order to fake their deaths and not only did everybody figure it out but it ended up being for purely no reason because Mac's dad wanted to forgive him and not hurt him and he looks pretty relaxed right there so I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon Soon. Hopefully though because in all the episodes he's been in so far it's definitely been incredible plots Especially because every time they think the worst of him which if he came back again I feel like the same stuff would happen and I love how the whole glory whole side plot came together there at the end as well With Dennis and Frank almost having a run-in with each other So I don't know if they're gonna patch that up or if that's gonna be a thing that keeps happening Obviously they put in the little viewing door in there so I don't know if that's going to come into play again I can imagine it will but definitely another hilarious scenario on top of the already hilarious main scenario and that slideshow of Mac and Charlie was just so perfect especially the song choice I loved that moment and just seeing Charlie's mom so broken up and Mac's mom fast asleep was just another great touch on top of that so this season is definitely maintaining that fantastic quality comedy level loving it so far can't wait to get into the next two with you all next week and if you did enjoy this reaction definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel out and you can check out my full-length reaction to this and all the other it's always sunny episodes on my patreon the link for that being in the description below but until the next one i will see you all later peace